Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be taking you through my game design for the game A Better You. The main focus for me for this project was the level and environment design. So let's start with the game itself. It's a 3D platformer and as with most 3D platformers it is developed both PC and consoles. Typically platformers are solely designed for younger audiences but with such a wide variety out there really anybody of any age can play them but you'll find that Peggy 7 is the most common. There are still platforms out there drawn uh, for, to draw in older audiences, such as Trine and um, Portal 2, have basically, uh, like Portal 2, they have basically, uh, sorry, um, the, the themes of other platforms like Portal 2 are uh, designed to draw in older audiences, even though the gameplay itself um, may seem suitable for uh, younger audiences. And for this reason, I give my game uh, Peggy 12 because the overarching themes of the story uh, are quite, it's quite dark. There are still platformers out there. It's not a dying breed. This year, or last year, we had Ukulele um, was released, and more recently Mario Odyssey was a pretty platformer. If you're like me and just enjoy the platformers in general, um, I still get the GameCube out and play platformers from my um, from my childhood. Anthropoid Alpha 274 is one of several failed and effective experiments in the upcoming range of enhancements for humans wanting to upgrade themselves, or, as we know today, plastic surgery. Alpha 274 awakens in an isolated corner of a scientific research facility. A friendly scientist leaves a note explaining how much he disagrees with the work being done at the facility as well as instructions on what to do next and how to escape. The player will journey through via multiple different facilities and multiple different environments, um, both environmental hazards and enemy hostiles slowing you down. The aim of which is to cripple the companies which both generate and distribute these upgrades to pay customers. This is you. You are Alpha 274. <clears throat> you are the next step in human aesthetic enhancement, plastic surgery, advertised to the public as a better you. You are designed for use in female enhancement, which was, it was instructed that you be destroyed as you showed signs of resistance to the microchips implanted in each anthropoid to stunt development of the brain. The reason why you are a female character is because these days, um, it, plastic surgery is more common. Is like two percent of all cosmetic procedures are done with women, and I'm impressed that only eight percent are done with men. So the likelihood of an android going wrong to be designed for female markets is a lot higher than those um, that will go wrong in male. From what I have witnessed, there are two main formats of platform games. There are those that are hub-based systems where the player has a central area that they travel back and forth to to reach all the levels of the game. Think the most likely Cantina in Lego Star Wars. Or there's the second, which is a more story-driven layout where the player progresses through the levels that are subsequently divided up by cutscenes that advance the story, like uh, The Hobbit Show or Was It Comic Project 2. I've got a few videos of the prototype stream. Uh, the first is a general uh, trailer of the game. The facility you find yourself in for this level is one of many facilities dotted around the world. As Alpha 274, you're trying to put an end to the corporation by tracking down the man in charge. You follow leads, taking you across different environments, such as lush jungles, where resources are harvested, and freezing tundras to track down this man. But for this project, you find yourself here, one of the many facilities that grows the many anthropoids used for harvesting. What do you collect? 
Um, it, the collectibles is really an uh, element for the player to kind of draw them back into the game. With other platformers, you tend to get collectibles, um, and it's really just an achievement-based mechanic. Um, it's just cogs, effectively, because it's because it's industrial and scientific. It makes sense. Um, there's also a collectible system where you collect all the collectibles. Um, you get hooray. He collects everything. Um, there's also death implemented as well. That's one of the hazards. Which has the functioning respawn. platformers. <coughs> As with other platformers, one of the primary mechanics are the moving platforms, which is also a primary source of progression in the level. Enemies are the second mechanic between areas of environmental hazards in the level, you will find enemy guards doing what they do best, guarding facility secrets. But of course, they will be no match. Also collectibles, this gives a reason for the player to explore some of the maze-like maps, and they get added bonus of an in-game achievement when they collect everything. And finally, an upgrade system. As the player progresses through each facility, they discover which each one is working on, and as a result, they can upgrade themselves with components that may make them better in combat or give them more help. Thank you. Uh, questions indeed? The object they collect. It's, it's, it's not uh, an interactive play system like yours. Oh. So it's not you collect an object and then you use it in the environment. It's a, it's a kind of completion type aspect. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in, in the level, there is a straight path that you can go from A to B, but because the map is so um, expansive, it encourages the player to explore. No, what I'm trying and to say, you know when you're going around and you have this, what's the name, this Cogs. Yeah. yeah. Cogs. So, what is supposed to be, that's what I mean. Are they kind of collectibles or are they some objectives? They're just collectibles. Ah, okay. just, you just collect them in game to find, find them all and get an achievement. Ah, if you okay. don't find them all, um, it encourages the player to go back to the same level um, to 100% it. Because there are a large portion of people out there that enjoy 100% completion games. How many levels are you planning to have? Um, I've only thought about the, the one large one, which is split into uh, two. But, um, I imagine there will be roughly kind of seven, but again, split into two. So it's cutscene at the beginning, level cutscene, mm -hmm. cutscene. So the, the gameplay we saw was the end of one half of that level. Oh, okay. So there is stuff before that, but not for this um, And then you get to that room, you enter a cutscene, um, where you find, you find your upgrade, and then you continue out throughout the facility. Okay. So cutscenes are at the beginning and end of every level, or sort of, it's the same Yeah, so, so if there's one large level, which is a facility, there's a cutscene at the beginning, there's a cutscene in the middle to, um, to kind of split the story. And then there's a cutscene at the end. It's just a it's just a progression way instead of using the hub based system where players access all the levels. It's more of a story driven way of doing it. How long gameplay would you deliver? For that prototype. For for the for, for the whole whole thing, for the final thing, not just for the prototype. Uh for the entire game if you Bay front it work. But as an experienced platform gamer, if I was to speak on it, probably hour, two hours. But because of the way that it's designed, it's like a maze. But if someone completely new to it, it should take them quite a while longer. First time players. 
Huh? I asked because you told us that you actually are planning maybe one huge level, but no. it's still not for this project. one level, okay? There is, yeah, and it's also one or two hours of gameplay, which is not not for the one level, for the entire game. For the entire game. For the yes. entire game of all the levels. So yeah. how many levels eventually in the game? Are in, in a final release, we have seven large levels. Seven large levels, okay, that sounds better. Okay. Split. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if, if you want to replay all levels, do you walk back or do you uh, there'll be, start the game? From the there'll be a level select. Okay. So, like in a main menu, you can uh, load the game, choose which level you want to replay. But if it's one large level, if it's one large, if it's one large level, you say say there are seven levels. To replay a level, you play from the start of that level. Right. But you can choose which world that will be in, <coughs> because it will be in different environments. Okay. So say say I want to play tundra level or jungle level or facility level. You'll start at the beginning of that level and then play through quite a Okay. And my other question is, in your game, in your final submission, will we have a story outline with all the story beats of the yeah, entire? Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, this was actually something that I missed in your presentation. Yeah, I, I didn't get what I the story. I would love to get a more holistic view at your project, and uh, uh, your presentation concentrated on some ideas, on concepts, mechanics. But in uh, no point you explain uh, what would be the whole thing, okay? Like a number of levels of this, uh, this global or holistic uh, look at, at, at the game uh, was something that was a bit uh, missing in your uh, presentation. Okay. And also in some moment you told us that there are two common ways. Could you uh, go go back to this slide that explains that there are two common uh, formats for 3D platform games, hub-based and casting based and you've actually never explained which of these formats you applied in your game. The cutscenes. The cutscenes, but you, uh, you, you, you didn't no tell that. Okay? No Alright, uh, so that's it. Also, I remember from your previous speech, I think it was you, you showed us this huge structure, uh, which was like a external view of your big mm. level. Uh, I, mean, I, have, would I still have that image. Mm -hmm. Just I felt like making sure the video would be better than showing that image. I yeah. like the video very <laughs> much, but uh, uh, you know the video showed us a few things from mm. the side. It didn't give a big picture. And the big picture, which is maybe not something that you would reveal to your players, uh, but this is something that you should reveal mm -hmm. to us, right? So we had uh, a kind of uh, map, level map, right? And you had this 3D yeah. uh, structure like a map. So I would say if you combined your previous speech that you gave us in Northern Map uh, with this speech, it would be ideal. Yeah. But today I, I had some, uh, you know, some feeling that uh, some points are, are, are really missing in this presentation because I didn't, I, I kind of created a model, a mental model of, of your game because I remember your picture from November, okay? But it shouldn't be the case. You, you should inform us here about the like you, you looked at some aspects of, of this, of this, uh, of this project. Um, and uh, of course, your footage from from the prototype is uh, just no. Everyone who who uh, delivers a kind of a prototype, working prototype, something moving, moving platforms, it's always impressive. Uh, but it, it it cannot replace a proper design, a design information. So uh, we are now looking forward to your to seeing your design document because I hope that all these yeah, that will be, I was just worried about repeating myself okay. during this and just show you. <laughs> okay. 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 
Okay, so uh, any other remarks or questions? Thank you very much.